I have been lifting now for 5 years and I've run through multiple bulking and cutting phases so I know exactly what is needed to make this transition right and to lose body fat effortlessly. Now this winter I again gained some weight and I definitely need a cut to be able to look good on the beach this year. Now if you have the same goal then those 5 rules that I follow to get lean definitely will help you as well. The only thing I hope for for the value I will give you in this video is maybe a like on it and even a comment because this will boost the algorithm on this video and give my channel a bit more exposure. Now I right away want to show you how I've looked last year. This is the leanest I have ever been before but this year I actually want to get even leaner. Now I will have to lose about 7 kgs to get there and this is how I will do it. Now the very first thing is switching carb sources. I'm someone who personally believes in carbs and the power of the carbs. I don't think we should avoid them. Of course, many people are saying if you're cutting them out, you lose body fat way easier. And they are maybe right, because most carbs do have a lot of calories. But still, I don't think it's good cutting out a macronutrient, because the carbs firstly will help you to have good workouts, and secondly, keep your muscles looking full. And if you want to look sick on the beach, then having full muscles definitely is also an essential thing. Because of that, I don't cut them out, I just switch them. In winter, I'm eating pasta, pizza and all of those things. But now in summer, I'm switching all of those bread with fruits and vegetables because they actually have very healthy carbs in there. And they are very filling because you can eat loads of fruits for the same amount of calories as like for example, a piece of bread. Great, then moving on to the second rule, which is counting my steps. I'm personally someone who doesn't like doing cardio, and I've also experienced when I'm doing a lot of cardio during a cutting phase, my strength and energy goes down drastically. And this is something I want to avoid. Because of that, I don't do any high intensity cardio. Maybe every now and then I go for a jog, or when there's a cool activity, I will do it. But on a regular basis, I'm not doing it. I only focus on my steps. Because this is actually a superpower for losing body fat effortlessly. Because getting more steps in will still enable you to recover properly from your weightlifting sessions. And it also doesn't lead to muscle loss. Well, I know many people are now gonna comment down below saying, Oh, how should I get more steps in? I'm working full time. I'm going to the gym. I don't have time for that. Well, I do understand this problem and I've also struggled with this before. But for this, I actually have a few tricks. How you still can get your steps in. One of them is for example walking or driving with a bicycle to work because driving on a bicycle also has the same energy expenditure as walking so it's better than just sitting in a train or driving with your car there. Then also when you come home from work, many people just sit in front of the TV and maybe watch some Netflix. Here I recommend you to just go for a walk and maybe listen to a podcast. Then you still have some entertainment but still also can get your steps in and get lean for the summer. Great, then moving on to the third rule, which is choosing low calorie healthy foods. Because there's a huge problem. Many people think as long as it's a healthy food, they can eat as much of it as they want to. But this oftentimes is also the reason why they don't lose any weight or potentially even gain some. Because when we look for example at avocado, this is a very very healthy food and many people recommend you to start eating it. And I also totally can back this up. This is a great food and if you like it then implement it into your diet. Just be aware of it that avocados are very high in fats and this comes with a lot of calories. The same is with for example nuts or coconut milk or all of the juices which are out there. These are healthy foods but people think when something is healthy it's also right away low in calories but this isn't the case. Always when I start a fat loss diet I choose a few healthy foods that I enjoy eating and then which are also low in calories. For example all kinds of salads, then some chicken, some lean beef and all of those good things. So this is another huge point which will help lots of people to actually start losing body fat. They are maybe already doing all of the other things right and they even think they have the perfect diet. They just aren't aware of how many calories some of these health foods have. 
perfect, then the fourth rule that I use is consuming caffeine. This is something many people will want to hear because there's so many people out there drinking energy drinks, coffee and all of those things which are high in caffeine. Now the good thing about caffeine is that it suppresses hunger. So I use this when I get hungry because when I drink a Coke Zero or a coffee when I feel hungry, I right away can wait another two or three hours until I feel hungry again. And in the end, this will help me to eat less calories over the day and get lean. Then also certain studies have shown that consuming caffeine actually helps us to boost our metabolism. This is the mechanism in our body which actually burns calories for us without even actively doing anything. So I think drinking coffee or caffeinated drinks are a great tool if you want to get lean and shred it this summer. Great, now to finish off, the fifth rule is about my training. Here many people think they will have to completely change their workout routine, do supersets all the time and do more reps than usual to also lose more body fat. But this is actually something I have tried myself but it doesn't work. It actually hinders us from making the results that we want to make. I personally don't change much about my training routine. I mostly do the same exercises, I train in the same rep range, I don't have shorter or longer workouts and I still do the same amount of supersets. This ensures me to be able to track progress and actually keep my strength and muscle or even potentially build some more. If I just completely change everything up, I don't have any chance to compare it to my bulking phase. I don't know where I'm standing, I don't know if I'm losing my strength or muscle. Because of that, it's crucial that we don't change much about our routine. The only thing that we can benefit from is maybe start doing more machine exercises, because this leads to less fatigue on our body. The thing is, when you're for example doing a bench press with dumbbells, there are so many little muscles in your body which help you for the this exercise. It's not just your chest, but you are actually doing the dumbbell bench press because you want to train your chest and not other muscles. Because of that, it can be helpful to maybe do a machine bench press. This isolates our chest and leads to less fatigue on our body. And this is something which is very helpful during a cutting phase, because this is when we are eating less calories and our body has less energy to recover from very hard trainings. So we still should be able to give our muscles the stimulus to stay or grow in size, but the fatigue which comes with this should be minimized as much as possible and this is a strategy which will help us to do this. Great, and that's it. Those are the five rules that I follow every year to get lean effortlessly. Most people are overcomplicating the process. They think they will need to be doing cardio every day. They cut all of the carbs out of their diet. They're changing their workout routine and are doing all of those things which still don't give them the results they actually want to have. I can promise you, if you start following the rules that I follow, you will get the results that you will want to get. Because I personally don't have the best genetic to lose body fat. My body naturally wants to hold on to more fat than I want to. Because of that, I'm actually someone who struggles a bit more than most people. But I still was able to get into the shape that I wanted to get and look good on the beach. So if you have the same goal, then you know now exactly what you will have to do. Now, thank you for watching this video till the end and I will see you in the next one.